I'm Gail Ulsen and I'm playing basketball. I'm playing right now in Malta for Floriana Basketball. That's 11 years, 11 years that I am playing right now and that's my first year in Malta. So I played 11 years. I played five seasons in Belgium, one season in England, four in Germany, and this is my 11th year now in Malta. Oh, I started super late compared to most of the players. I started at the age of 10, between 10 and 11 years old. My cousin created the team and he, he needed players. We are a family of basketball players, so uh, I always play since I'm young, but never like official. He asked me to, uh, to join the team and uh, uh, I really liked it. I uh, met really some great people and make some new friends and I felt really comfortable in basketball. So uh, I started in a small club in my hometown. Then I quickly moved to a formation center that I train every day after school. So it helps me to develop my game. Basketball is a big, big part of my life. Before to be a job, it was a hobby. I try to train every day. Like I said, we are a family of basketball players. So I always grown up and seeing people in basketball. My father was a coach, my cousins were playing. My grandfather were coach and players too. So uh, it's a big part of my life. Uh, when I joined the formation center, I mainly had basketball every day. I had basketball at school, then after I went to uh, practice after school, stayed to play with the adults, so uh, it took me a lot, a lot, a lot of times. That's the biggest things of my life, I would say. First, I joined the formation center and I worked a lot, a lot, a lot. Then, step by step, uh, I joined the adult team. I joined the first division team and it just became like that. I didn't really realize that I would sign pro, but it came and uh, I am super happy to have this opportunity and now I'm live it. Uh, basketball make me live, so it's a chance I have to uh, live from, uh, from my hobby. My mom wanted me to get my degree, my basic degree and I had it at 17 years old. Then I received an offer from uh, one of the biggest clubs in Belgium, from uh, Charleroi. They proposed me a contract of three years, so I talked a lot with my parents, and uh, it's an opportunity that comes only once in your life, and especially at that young age. So I took it, and uh, I'm super happy about it. And, I stick to it. It gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of people, travel the world, seeing different culture. This is more than a job. This is something that makes you grow as a person. Uh, I have friends now all around the world that I keep contact. For sure, I'm not seeing them often, but um, super happy about it and it makes the it makes the person I became so I'm super happy this is a totally new team last season they didn't have a, a team on the first division and uh, we need to build up the chemistry 
and uh, this is something that I think will be big for the club because uh, they have big expectation. We would like to win the championship and coming back with the title, so the expectations are big. Malta is way different than from uh, I, I'm, I am. I am from Belgium, so life is quite different. It's warm all the time. Uh, for the moment, uh, we close winter and I'm still going on the beach and enjoying the, the sun. My parents are freezing at home, I think with four degrees only, so it is, it is a new culture. This is new people and I uh, really enjoy it. First, they need to enjoy basketball. Really loving basketball first. Then the second advice would be work. Without work, you will never succeed or you will never reach that goal. Because if you are not working, somebody else will do it at your place. You will miss every opportunities by getting lazy. So first is loving the game, second is a lot of work, and third it's a lot, a lot, a lot of sacrifice. Because I uh, remember when I was young, I was going to school, I had basketball at school, then after I went to basketball, at the weekend I had two, three games per weekend, so it was no time to going out was no time to see much friends. All my friends are from basketball and unfortunately I didn't really create any connection out of basketball after school. But I really met great people. For my best friend are from uh, basketball as well and play professional. So uh, basketball is everything for me. So for the first four years, I played in Belgium, so it was not uh, really a big, uh, a big difference for me from playing in the young team than playing with the adults. The only difference is that you meet more foreigners and you have to speak English. But um, after those four years, I had my first experience abroad and I played in England. It was a big step because uh, I was still super young to uh, go abroad and have had a lot of responsibility for a young guy. It works really well. I had the luck that uh, I meet a lot of great people that helped me to love that culture. They helped me to improve my English. So they really took care of me and it's, it really gave me a great confidence to continue and uh, living different experience. After that one I went in Germany. It was again a new culture, again new people, but by the experience I had in England, it really made me feel comfortable to, uh, to move and be far from the family because uh, a new season is like meeting a new family. You create really great contact with your teammates and uh, this is the people that you're seeing the most. So this is something special, but something really nice to live. Personal goals is to stay professional as, as long as I can, as long as my body can give me that opportunity too, because I'm realistic. I know that one day it will stop. My body will say that now it's time to maybe turn yourself to something else. But basketball was something so big in my life for those many years that I can't see myself without basketball. So I will probably turn myself into something that will be still around it because uh, I can't live without basketball. I already started my uh, degrees in Belgium. I passed uh, my first degree uh, of coaching and I'm in process to get my second level of uh, de coaching degree. So I would like to, uh, to maybe turn to on the coaching in an academy in some countries 
Uh, I had the opportunity already to maybe join an academy in England, but I wanted to stick to full-time player, basketball player. I had another opportunity in China to go coach in China, but like a same reason I wanted to stick as a player. Like I told you, I want to be player as long as my body give it to me and uh, I will stick to it, uh, I will stick to it.